Hi, this is Yad Ali for Object Oriented Programming. In this lesson, we'll discuss Java primitive data types. There are eight primitive data types in Java. Byte, which takes one byte. You can store values between minus 128 to 127. Short, that take two bytes. Integer, four bytes, similar to C++. Long, which also take eight bytes. These are the range of values that can be stored in different data types. The first four are integral data types. You can only store integer values or whole numbers in them. Float and double are floating point data types. Float takes four bytes and double takes eight bytes, almost exactly the same as C++. One more data type here is Boolean and character. Character in Java takes two bytes, not one byte like C, because it uses Unicode as we're gonna show you later. How to declare a variable like any other programming language, data type, then the variable name. Byte, inches, integer, speed, long timestamp, and see how Java naming conventions for variable. They use camel case. First time the small case letter. All the remaining words will start with caps letters. Float double. Let us see more examples. Integer data type for byte. As the name implies, it takes one byte, short, integer, long. They can hold, they cannot hold any decimal, uh, hold any decimal points. In this example, I use four different data types. In line six, byte, the variable name is byte number equals 100. It's allowed to you hold 100. This is the range of available values for byte. Short. The range of shorts, since it's only two bytes, is between minus 32768 and 32767. Then integer with four bytes and long with uh, eight bytes. You can use the letter L here if you want to specify that the number is long. Let me run this. These are the output exactly as shown in the example if you try to use larger than the maximum value see here i get an error type mismatch cannot convert from integer to byte because this is beyond the capacity of byte okay if you try to use floating point value you also going to get an error here simply because it's a type mismatch you only can use all numbers in integer values. Same thing if I do this here or I make any change more than the maximum value. So you are not allowed to use more than the assigned part. One byte for byte, two bytes for short, four bytes for integer, and eight bytes for long. In Java, we have two floating point data types. They both allow fractional values. We have float, takes four bytes, and double takes eight bytes. You need to pay attention when you use float because the default type for any floating point literal is double. So this code will not work. You can say float number, but you cannot assign a floating point literal like this. You need to add the letter F if it's a floating point number. Otherwise, you get an error. Let's see this in an example. In this example, I use float here in line seven, 5.75 and I add the letter F. Double, I'm using double number, I add the letter D. If I remove the letter D, let us see, I don't get any error. However, if I remove the letter F from here, this is an error. Why? In Java, this is considered a double, unless you add F to the floating point literal. 
you can also use scientific notation. If you have huge numbers, you can use E exponent, okay? Here, you can use E for whatever. Let us see more examples on scientific notation. Floating point numbers sometimes can be huge in scientific uh, programs and data. Java uses E notation, very similar to C++, to represent scientific values. So here, this value is a huge value. We are not going to uh, insert it in the program this way. We can just use the E notation or scientific notation. So we have the same value. Instead of 10 raised to the power 4, we use E here. E can be small or capital. It can be negative. As you see here in this example, very small number. It is converted to E notation, and it's also here converted to E notation. The next type is Boolean. Boolean can store either true or false, and cannot be stored in any other data type because it's a very, very unique. Boolean data types are very important in programming, especially when it comes to decision making. Let us see this in an example. Very simple. The data type is Boolean. This is the variable name, true or false. You do not use 0 and 1 like other languages. You can use directly the values true and false. If I run this program now, I get true, false. The next primitive data type is character. Java character data types provide a single character. It's not a string. Remember, this is primitive and it's only characters. As usual, one character with single quotes. Don't confuse li character literals with string literals. Character is only one character in a single quote. Strings can be multiple characters in double quotes. Even if it's double quotes, this is a string here, but this is a, the one to the left is character. String literals are always include, enclosed in double quotes. In Java, characters are stored as numbers. Each character has its own unique value. Maybe many of you are aware of ASCII. In ASCII, you have 8 bits. Values from 0 to 255 are reserved for different characters. However, in Java, we, we use the Unicode character set. The Unicode character set has two bytes for each character. So we have a total of 65, 5, 3, 6 different characters to be represented. This was very good to um, allow non-Latin languages like Arabic, Farsi, Malayalam, any Sanskrit languages. It helped them to represent their characters. Again, two bytes in memory for each character. The first 256 are exactly the same as the old ASCII characters. This was um, uh, created to allow easy, tra smooth transition between ASCII and Unicode. ASCII, if you don't know what ASCII is, American Standard Code for, uh, for Information Interchange. So here is the Unicode character. In ASCII, A capital was 65. In Unicode, it's still 65. They added two zeros. So A and B and C and dollar sign are still the same in uh, ASCII and um, Unicode. They just added one byte, but that byte is all zeros. Let us see characters in an example. Here I have character, my grade is B, between single quotes. You can also give the numeric value of the character. As you know, everything is going to be stored uh, as a number. So you can use the character A65, the Unicode value of those characters. Let me run this code and see what you get. See, you get capital A, capital P, and capital C. These are the values of those characters in Unicode. By this example, we conclude our lesson on Java primitive data types. Byte, short, integer, long, float, double, boolean character.